Hello, St. Paul's. Today I want to talk to you about prayer. Prayer is an important part of the faith life, an important part of what it means to follow Jesus. But I believe in this time of COVID-19 and the isolation that comes along with it, that prayer is an even more important part of our faith life. In 1 Thessalonians 5, we read, Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Those are short verses, but they pack a lot. And today we're only going to consider that one verse, pray continually. It doesn't mean pray continuously, that from the time we wake in the morning until we go to sleep, that we are to make the entire day a prayer. It means that prayer is to be a part of our lives always. That we should be aware that the Lord is near at all times and that we can turn to him anytime, anywhere and speak. It is good to have specific prayer times set so that we can take some concentrated time to be with God, intentional time with God, quality time with God. But throughout the day, we can take time and be with the Lord. We can pray continually. Earlier this year, I had called the congregation to make 2020 a year of prayer. Little did I know that things would turn out the way they would. My intent was to focus the congregation, to focus us on prayer around the vision the Lord had given to us, that we would be a growing church, that we would have an impact on the community around us, that we would become known as a church that cared, that we would equip people to be followers of Jesus, that we would equip families. I called us to prayer around that vision, and that still stands. If we have slacked off in our prayer because of COVID, then the enemy has won something. Let us continue to pray for St. Paul's and the vision that the Lord has given to us, that we would achieve all he has laid out for us. But let's also be praying for each other. I know that this is happening, but let's be even more intentional about it. Pray for the community that is St. Paul's, the church that is St. Paul's, and the members that make up that body. Let us also pray for our neighbors, the neighbors around our church building, but also the neighbors who live around us wherever we live. I've been thankful for the small group of people who meet just about every weekday to come together and pray We gather for just a half hour from 11.30 to noon, Monday to Friday, and there are some people who are there every day. There are some who come and go, and there are those who who are there whenever it is possible for them to do so, But, but know that you are being prayed for. This group of people is earnest in prayer, calling upon the Lord to strengthen St. Paul's, to be a blessing to our neighbors and a help in this time of crisis. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. Let us pray continually that the Lord will strengthen us and use us, his church, to do his will and to bring him honor and glory. Let's pray. Our loving God, we thank you for the gift of prayer. We thank you for the opportunity of coming before you and giving thanks and giving praise and seeking your mercy, but also seeking your help. I thank you, Lord, for those of your church who pray, who pray for your people, who pray for your church. I thank you for those who meet daily in our church prayer time. Bless us as your people, Lord, to do your will. Grant us your strength, your love. Grant us your mercy and fill us with your hope in Jesus Christ that we should do your will and that we should give you honor. Our God, all this we pray in Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you.